Hey everybody, this is this is uh, Jim at sp500chart.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 index. Got to read this to you again just in case you haven't heard it before. The uh, website and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. Uh, I am not a licensed financial pro. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look at the S&P. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like to me. Uh, it looks like after we uh, came off this 1160 low here and had these couple of crazy roughly 3% uh, gap up days that uh, a, a, uh, an ascending uh, uh, channel was sort of set up. It didn't have a whole bunch of, of tests of this bottom line, but you could see that uh, we came up to this line, went sideways here, came up here, and then sort of took that out. Um, it's, it, like I said, it's not a perfect channel, but it was going up at such a steep pace that I think what has happened now is that now there's a new channel that, uh, that is going at a much uh, more, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for, at a less steep uh, ascent. And for the past one, two, three, four, five days, we have enough information now uh, with touches on the top of this line, and especially with all of these uh, touches today, I think we can see that, uh, that this is clearly now support and this is clearly now resistance additionally we were expecting resistance at this red line today we got it I was expecting support it, there wasn't quite enough information here today but I had drawn this line yesterday thinking let's see if that plays out as support and it's, it's can't speak it is interesting here to see just how well this line did play as support. So where we stand right now, I'm going to make this a fairly uh, a fairly brief video uh, because nothing really changed today other than uh, adding a little bit more validity to this line and more validity to this one. So what I would say at this point is if this blue line were to break tomorrow or sometime whenever it breaks, I would expect uh, a little bit of support here around the 1253 area. And if that gives way, then I would expect a retest down here uh, of this red line, which is currently uh, descending, but not uh, at a, at a uh, fairly uh, uh, shallow rate of descent. This, this line right here is losing about two points per day. And this one right here is gaining about two points per day. Now, if we break up over this red line, then I would expect resistance at uh, around 1270, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 1274, 1275, as this is the neckline to our uh, head and shoulders pattern back here. I would expect that to still be resistance. Now, there's also a little gray line that I've drawn here. If we, if we go to a two-hour chart, I think it might uh, be a little bit more clear. This is basically drawn over these two little tops back in July and then over the late October high. And uh, I, I don't know how important <coughs> this is, but I think it's worth keeping our eyes on. And uh, so right now, uh, I'm going to be, uh, somebody emailed me and said, why do you, why do you have to be so redundant? I, 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 I apologize for being redundant. I, it's just my style, okay? I don't expect everyone to, to hang on every word and to remember everything that I say. To those of you who do uh, and have excellent uh, 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 learning skills and powers of recall, uh, some of what I say may be redundant, but what I'm really trying to do is just to make sure that it's abundantly clear uh, what the actual call is. So I cannot tell you right now if the market is going to go up tomorrow or if it's going to go down. I could tell you that we are in a narrowing range underneath this red line and on top of this blue line. 
and it sooner or later will be well what's what's uh, I'll, I'll I'll clean up the language it tomorrow or the 8th it will be poop or get off the pot day uh, because it cannot stay in this for any longer than about a day and a half before one of these has to go if the red one goes, like I said, expect resistance in the uh, in the low to mid 1270s. If this blue one goes, then expect some uh, support in the low 1250s, but expect more support uh, more in the in the uh, high uh, 1230s or very low 1240s. Um, so that's kind of where we stand today. Uh, again, you can see this channel has now kind of morphed into this channel. And uh, we're watching for a potential break of this bottom line, which, by the way, I'm sort of predisposed that that's the way it's going to go. Um, but nothing is for sure until it happens. So the reason I say that is mainly these, uh, these lines of, of resistance up top here that I think uh, have pretty long-standing um, uh, importance in the chart. Uh, somebody asked me a question a while back. They said, how, how can we tell from looking at your chart what the important lines are, what the lines that are stronger? Well, it, it's pretty simple, really. I can tell you this as a general rule. The longer the line and the more tests of that line, the more technically important it is. So when we have a little uh, line like this, it's not that important. When we have a line like this, it is more important. So uh, that's just kind of the general rule. Uh, look, appreciate you watching the video. And uh, just want to remind you that uh, you can stop by sp500chart.com and, and participate in our forum. We don't have a lot of posters, but I'll, I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of intelligence. Uh, we have... Uh, we have people who really research and, and come up with some real interesting uh, indicators, some very interesting things and observations in the markets that, uh, that kind of go hand in hand with what I do. It's different than what I do. Uh, we, we've got one guy who's, uh, who has a lot of, uh, follows the news in Europe extremely closely, and he's uh, actually from Italy. And uh, so he's, he's very close to that over there, and he tells us things that uh, we don't get over here in the, in the U.S. media. But anyway, I uh, just encourage you to do that. And uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not and you're seeing this uh, a little bit delayed, uh, I just want to encourage you to think about it. It's uh, pretty cheap. It's less than a cheap cup of coffee per day. And if you spill it in your lap, you're not going to get any burns or stains. So, look, take care. Thanks again.